Hey everyone, this week the UK saw an assault of royal commemorative plates being launched with Kate giving birth to yet another child and Prince Charles presumably cracking open a tincture of homeopathic champagne to celebrate. The baby weighed just over £8, making it just slightly heavier than the special commemorative supplement you'll no doubt be receiving in this week's Sunday paper. I guess it's up to you really whether you use it for lighting the barbecue or stashing it away in a cupboard as an investment. It could potentially triple in value and be worth more than a fiver in years to come. Prince William was very excited to announce the new heir, although later a palace official sat down with him and explained that the doctor had in fact said new heir, not new hair, and he should just embrace the bald look. Come on, William, it doesn't matter how much you try to look like Bobby Charlton, it's still not going to help England get past the World Cup group stages. Talking about crazy haircuts, though, this week saw President Trump very busy as always. He arranged a visit to the UK, scheduled for July. He phoned into Fox and Friends, his favourite TV show, and then he invited his French pen pal Emmanuel Macron over to play. Those letters presumably go along the lines of J'habite dans la White House, c'est terrifique. Macron has actually pretty sensible hair, so Trump made a deliberate point of supposedly brushing alleged dandruff from his shoulder during a press conference. Later, Melania was sporting an eye-raising white chapeau hat, and Kanye West managed to annoy most of the internet by after posting a picture of his Make America Great Again Trump baseball cap. It was all rather surreal even by the internet and Trump standards. In the middle of it all, of course, Emmanuel Macron made a speech about globalism and Iran, although given France's frankly shoddy track record with the Middle East and especially Islamic extremism, he should perhaps be better trying to focus his efforts on French gastronomy and trying to convince President Trump to not add ketchup to a New York strip steak. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these clips, subscribe.